Okay. So basically, this is quantitative business mom. analysis. Hmm? I thought I heard someone calling mom. So wait, this is a typo. I can't believe I have typo. So um, so QBA. So we will meet twelve thirty to one forty five at the Gessner three seventeen the computer room, and then my office is in Gessner three o nine. My office hour is Tuesday, Thursday, 10 to 11, and then Wednesday, 12.30 to 3.30. So in theory, during my office hour, I'll be in my office. But if you let me know that you want to do Zoom, you cannot come to office. Just, you know, you can let me know and I just go to Zoom. You know, we can Zoom um, there as well during the office hour. And um, if you cannot meet me, during my office hour, what you can do is you can text me. This is my cell phone number. Text me and ask me like, oh, can you Zoom? If I can, I'll respond. If I don't respond, that just means, you know, I was, I'm was i busy. I, I didn't even, you know, see your text. So, you know, we just text each other to Zoom. And other than that, if you have anything related to class, if you have questions, it's better to email me, okay? If you are going to miss the class, email me if you, you know, yeah. So email, I can keep track of stuff. So it's easier to email. And then for this class, we don't have any textbook. So everything, um, I, I already post the slides, PowerPoint slides on the on D2L. And then you will be able to see, let me see if I can go to D2L, sorry. So here. Okay, so D2L. So let's go to, can you see the D2L? Or you are still seeing the Word document? What did still you guys see the see? Word document. Oh, let me, okay. Let me stop share and then share the, the screen. So this is the, uh, where's my QBA? Okay, here. So under this, you should be able to, like under content, you should be able to see the syllabus here. Okay, and then we'll have recording. Some of these are from last semester, and but you can still take a look. And we'll have slides for chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight, nine. We won't, we won't, we'll skip chapter seven. And then the notes, we have some, well, you don't have to worry about that, but we have, I put all the quizzes here. So all the quizzes are, um, we'll be doing in class. Okay, and then you can see all the tests, test one, two, three, it's take home. <clears throat> okay, so, but for this class, there's, um, um, let me go back to the syllabus. So you can choose, you have two options. You can choose to do the 10 quizzes, one project, and then three tests. Okay, the, th the third test is cumulative. So the third test has chapter from chapter that like has covers chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. Okay. So if you don't want to do the third test, you can do two tests, but you need to do another individual project. Okay. So I'm going to share with you what project you will need to do. <clears throat> so the one project that everybody has to do is um to to start to to um design a survey in uh, to study generational differences. Now I'm thinking of doing generational differences in work ethics, but it might change. So I haven't I haven't um, been able to find out the, I need to find a questionnaires that being used because then we can just use the other people's questionnaires. So what you would do is, you know, we would do the, you know, ask people about age, what's their job, what's it, you know, year of experience and their level of um, education. And then there are several assessments. So these are just some examples that I thought about before the class, but you know, um, we can kind of talk about it during the class when we have normal class. So this is to like what you need to do because we have 40 people. What you need to do is you need to ask 10 people. Each person have to ask 10 people. Two will be from, will be older. 
I mean, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but two will be um, the traditional <clears throat> generation, okay? They're older. Two be from baby boomer, two, two from Gen Y, two from Gen, or Gen X, Gen Y, and Gen Z, <clears throat> okay? So you have five different age group. So you have to ask like your grandpa, you know, your parents, someone older, and then someone maybe your parents' age, and then someone um between 40 to 55 to 60, something like that. And then someone a little bit younger, like 30. Okay. So we will talk about more details later, but I just want you to have an idea like what you get yourself into. And I want you guys to decide, are you going to do two projects today? or three exam today, okay? So this is the first project everybody has to do. I will design the questionnaire, but I will have some discussion with you guys <clears throat> what we are going to do. And this is to help um, a company that we will be working with, with another class. It's a German company and um, they are making the kitchen appliance like Top, like the high-end kitchen appliance, and they want to do study on, you know, how Gen Z want, um, what kind of um, appliance, what kind of product they would like, you know, in five to 10 years. Like when you guys graduate, when you guys are more accomplished and you would, um, you know, you want to spend, you want to buy something like nice, the kitchen appliance, like they are the high end. So what features we'll be looking into? Okay, so that's that's for um the later you know discussion. But this is why I had the idea to 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 um study to understand the generational differences. Okay, so this is the first project. The second project would be um there's something called PA Promise. Okay, so this project we will be discussing throughout the class because um, this, uh, let me just, you can also click this, click the link and then take a look. So PA Promise is basically something they want to push um, the, the, um, the PA legislative to pass so that um, in Pennsylvania, if you, in, you are in Pennsylvania and if you are 24 years younger, 24 years old or younger and finish high school. And then you have the residence of PA. And if your household income is 200,000 or below, um, your tuition and fees will be covered. And if you're from household that's uh, 60,000 below, then you will be covered not, the, in, you know, not only the tuition and fees, but also room and board. Okay, so I want to kind of have discussion with you guys, like, what do you guys think about this? And then what we do is because we are the statistics class, right? So sometimes when uh, when we do statistics survey, it's not because we want to gather information. We also want to spread out the news at the same time, you know, we, we gather information. So this, this second project will be I think it would be beneficial for not for you guys because you know you are already in in the in the school, but for maybe if you have younger brothers or sisters or you know other families, so this will be beneficial for those people. Okay. And I think it will be um it will be good. That to me it will be good. So I, you know, I want you guys to, you know, we can work together, try to figure out how we can um help to promote this idea. And at the same time, we gather information from people like, what do they think? Do they think, you know, like 260,000, this number is, you know, reasonable or no, you know? And so, you know, so this is the second project, okay? So that's why I, I just want you guys to kind of, I know it's um, first class, you don't know, but I just want you guys to let me know uh, how many will be willing to do this compared to the third test, okay? Or how many, you know, prefer to do third test? But this is pretty much it for today. But let me go through what we are going to do um, 
throughout the class. So like I mentioned to you, in February, there will be several days that I'll be gone. Like, you know, this week, I'll be going to Canada for assessment. <clears throat> and then this week, I'll have a conference in New York. Okay. So we'll be doing um two different um 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 stuff. Okay. So so I purposely arranged uh February 13 to be your test one time. So this day, the when we have tests, you don't have to come here. And then chapter four, I'll be doing it online. Let me think. Yeah, I'll be doing it online. And because I'll be, I think I'll be traveling, but there will be time that I can record something and then I'll post it online. And then um, February 20th, 20th, I would um, assign something for you guys to do. I'll post it on D2L. I haven't done it yet, but it will be something related to your project, project one. Okay. So maybe I'll ask you to do the first part, you know, I don't know yet. And then the uh maybe yeah so the first part will be probably ask you to fill out the survey okay I'll I'll post it on um Google form so when you or you can ask your friends or your families and then you can put in their answers and then there will be a there will be a column to put in your own name so I will know who actually turned in the ten ten answers who didn't you know so that's that's that. And then the uh, second, February 22nd will be the second part of the <clears throat> um the project. We are that to show you guys what we can do with the Excel. Okay. So that's uh um and I will show you I we will probably talk about it during this time. It's like what we can do with Excel, you know, to calculate the average, you know, those kind of stuff. So this will be um for you guys to do and no class as well. Okay. So that's, and then the test one will be due in class um, before, be, um, on 27th. So we'll come back to finish chapter four and will, will you have test one, you know, to turn in. If you, um, I know a few people, they cannot be here. They choose to do online. So if you are going to do online, Please make sure when you turn in your quiz, quizzes, your test, it's, I prefer if you actually come to campus, I prefer you turn in the hard copy because if you turn into um, um, D2L, okay, let me show you from previous class, okay? <clears throat> so previous class, I have someone turning something um that it doesn't they doesn't submit it in the right direction and i have there's no way i can you know grade it okay so that's why <clears throat> so this show you so like let me show you this one okay Oh, so this one, I can't even see. What is it? What is this? Uh, okay. So this one, I can't even see it. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, so this one, I can Oh, wait, wait, it's loading. So that's, that's why, so like this, this, how... How am I going to like this is this is multiple choice, but when you have the questions, it's difficult for me to read. Okay. So you need to make sure the direction is correct. And then from here, I don't know how to change it, you know. So that's why you need to make sure you submit it to the right direction. And um, if you if you um cannot make sure, please just turn in the hard copy. Okay, if you're on campus, turn in the hard copy to me before the due date. And you already know that all the tests are already here. So don't tell me, oh, on the test day, something was wrong that you cannot do this. Okay, don't tell me that because it's already here. You have like a few months to print it out or do anything. Okay, so 
So that's um for the test. So I prefer you guys turn in hard copy for the test because then I can read it. And um, I don't mind you guys working together, but just don't just borrow someone's answer and copy and then don't copy it wrong. You know, like one time someone do one plus one equal to to two or something that, but the 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 writing wasn't clear. So people were copying like one, it become one plus one equal to three, you know? So that's like, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, like, and every, like at least 10 people doing one plus one equal to three. So that's not something I want to see, okay? So any questions for this class? But most, most of the, um, I think it's better you come to class, but if you want to do online, it's okay. It's just, when you do online, please make sure you watch the videos, okay? Because I really don't like to, like something I already went over, I have to do it again. I don't like that, okay? I don't like to waste my time. So if you miss a class, it's okay, but I would prefer you watch the video, okay? And then do whatever, you know, go through whatever we did in class. Any questions so far? Uh, yes. Do you recommend us do the test or the project? I think the test will be more practical. I mean, I mean, not the test. The project will be more practical. The test, uh, based on my experience, people usually don't do that well on the test. So yeah. we're doing a project though. But if you are good with math, then test might be easier. Everything is already on D2L. So it's the tests are take home, open book, open note, okay? But still, um, even though it's open book, open note, and there's no time limit, you just need to turn it in on the day that I say, but still very few people get perfect score. It's not difficult, but it's not that easy. When are we supposed to tell you which choice um... We're gonna go. You with tell it. me now. Oh, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on, put it on here. We so can't fill the scene out though. Like we can't get a fill for it. Like we like what if like I would say test, but then I really want to do the project. Don't please don't do that to me because that's why I want you guys to decide now. Because but I'm saying then, like how are we supposed to decide now if we don't know what the test or the project look like. But I already told you, the you test right. is, the test is here. I can show you the test. This is what the test will look like. This is the test. Okay, this is the, and then this is, this is multiple choice. We have 20 multiple choice and we have 10, uh, um, 12 questions here. 12 questions. What if you want to do both? Will one count as extra credit? Oh. Huh. Because I a, think I want to do both. Oh, I like you. That's, um, a, that's a good idea, extra credit. If you want to do both, but the extra credit won't, won't be, it won't be as much as 200, you know? So, what so if why cannot just do both? You take the higher grade because it's too much work. Do you are you sure you want to do both? <clears throat> yes, I told you math is my favorite subject. I don't think the test would be difficult <laughs> at all. So okay, <clears throat> so if you want to do okay, so um, let me give you the third option. You can do both. And then you can pick the higher grade. Okay. Yeah, that How's makes that? sense. 
So, but you guys still need to tell me, like, you cannot like say, oh, um, you do the test three and then you didn't do well. Say, so, oh, can I do project? No, you cannot do that. You have to, you have to follow the all the schedule, do the project, and then you know, and then do the test three as well. You cannot. You have to do all of them. You cannot say, okay, I do the project and I get good grade, then I'll and I won't do test three. So if you if you commit, you're going to do both, you have to do both. And um, if you decide to do one, you have to do one. Okay, so how about this? I'll let you guys think about it. Today is Tuesday. So Thursday, we will confirm. So you guys can take a look at test three and then test two, I mean, project two, we already kind of talk about it. It will be about PA promise and there will be something we work together, you know, to get very um simple survey. It won't be like the project one. Project one will be a little bit more complex. So for the other one, it will be a little bit simple. And then you'll be talking to people to to see how they feel about it and what's what's the part that they don't like. Okay. <clears throat> so Go take a look at the uh, PDF I attach, and then you can take a look at the test one, two, three, to see whether or not you want to um do do test, do project, or do both. And I ask you guys on Thursday. Did you say the project was a group effort? Uh, no, it'll be individual. But we will talk about it in class. We will discuss in class. So none of the projects like we like get in a group. All of it is just like single. No, no, no. Not it's not a group project. It's an individual project. Okay. You need to ask people like, oh, what do you think about the PA promise? Do you think the sixty thousand uh, K income is reasonable? Is it too low or too high? You know, stuff like that. And we'll talk about like. So we would talk about what questions we should ask, you know, to promote this. And then you guys, each one of you have to ask different people to, you know, try to try to first to understand what they think about it. And then second, like I mentioned, it's sort of like telling people, oh, this, this, this is what's going on. The PA promise is what's going on. And we try to see if we can pass the law to you know, to help the low income family people, you know, send their kids to college. Yeah. Does it make uh, sense? Yes. Quizzes. Yeah. Um, I was just about okay. to ask if the quizzes are online or not. The all the uh, the quizzes, <clears throat> everything is already here. Okay. Everything is already here. So so the quizzes. You can take a look first, but I actually, I think it's better to do it like it's, it's, I mean, if you don't come to class, you have to print it out and you have to do it at home. But if you come to class, you will be doing it in class. Okay. And you need to return the quiz to me, I, that's something I forgot to mention. So for example, let me show you the schedule. So the quiz is to see if you understand what we talk about. So we have like chapter one, two, three, have three quizzes. And so you have to turn in all the quiz before the test review day. Okay, for test, for quiz one, two, three, you need to turn it in before this day, because on this day, I'm going to tell you the answer for quiz one, two, three. So you should turn it in before that, okay? And then you will see the, <clears throat> you will know how to do quiz one, two, three, and it, you will know if you do it right or wrong. So you can do every, you and, and you can practice online, but I, I like I told you, I prefer you guys turn it in in person. So before this, before we start the class, you should turn in the quiz. Okay, but you can practice because it's already, 
it's already um, on D2L. You can take a look, see if you know how to do. Does it make sense? Yeah. So how so, you have um, January 23rd, um, the topic that we're discussing is the second part of chapter one or the remainder of chapter one. And then under activities, it says quiz one. That means that's the date that you'll give us the physical copy if we're in class. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's the plan. But sometimes if people have more questions, sometimes we might be delaying, you know. So so this is just the the plan, but we might change it, you know, throughout the semester. But this is basic the basic, you know, structure. <clears throat> and this is wrong. This should be four to eight. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay, so Thursday, I'm going to double check with you guys. Do you, do everybody want to do both? If you guys do, then then I know, oh, maybe I don't give good, um, big, uh, l l l big enough workload so you guys can do both. But but I, I, I understand you want to make sure you get good grades. That I understand, yeah. So, but I still need to know like every, Everybody will agree because I, I can't just, you know, I don't want to just change the syllabus like that. Okay, I already posted on, on D2L. But if if um if I would um um on Thursday I would just you know ask you guys and then I'll just put it I'll put it on D2L. Okay, on Thursday. Okay. So but if you are doing online, you can email me. Okay, if you are if if you won't show up to class on Thursday, you know, email me, and then um, go from there. Any other questions? No. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for coming. I know today the classes are canceled, but you know, like I, like I show you guys, I'll be gone for two weeks, and I don't know if it's good to skip today's class so i just thought wait so will you be here on thursday we will be here on thursday we'll be in but, class on thursday but i mean in february i'll be gone for two weeks all right yeah so i don't want to spend thursday just go through syllabus okay so we can we already go through this so thursday i can start teaching a little bit and then getting your information about the project and test Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, so the quizzes you can you can also do online if you want, but you like I said, you need to turn it in before um the review day. Okay. So um yeah, so everything is already online and you can decide. But I personally I learn better. Yes. So I just want a physical copies for everything. So if you want to do online, you can do it. But I do I do want a physical copy for everything. And um, so it's easier for me to manage to grade and I have the evidence, you know. And um, but I prefer you guys to show up in person because then you have questions you can ask. Okay. It to me it's easier to learn to go to class in person. But if you choose to do online, it's okay. Okay. So any other questions? Are we allowed to um, help each other on the quizzes in class? Yes. Yes. The, 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 the class is not, you know, I, I don't, the quiz and the test are not to fail you. It's just for you to see if you understand what I say, attendance is not mandatory, no. But see, this is difficult. I don't want to show up to class and nobody show up, so. No, nah, I'm a beater, I'm a beater, I got you. Okay. I'll be there too. Okay, yeah, I record this so I know who says who will be there, okay? So yeah, 
Yeah, so attendance is not mandatory. Yeah, because we have 40, we have more than 40 people and then the classroom only have 40 seats. So if you want to do online, it's okay. But online usually is not easy, especially this is math class. If you just come to class and everything is everything is already, you know, on D2L, but you need to be very self-disciplined to do online. But if you come to class and then you just listen, and if you don't understand, you ask, I repeat. And if you understand, then we do quiz and you will know, oh, I really understand or oh, I something I don't understand. So that's the purpose of the quiz and then the the test. So any other questions? Yeah. Is um is Thursday gonna be like a get to know each other? What's your favorite movie type day? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. No, this is for today. So uh. because well, we have we have too many people, so I won't be, you know, I won't be asking you guys to introduce yourself. Um, but you know, after class, if you want to talk, you can oh, someone is drawing something. So um yeah. Um yeah, so I'm originally from Taiwan. And I love traveling. So I've been to more than 50 countries. And um, if you want some tips on, you know, how to get, like, I, I use a lot of points to travel, you know, the credit card points, how to, how to transfer different credit card points to different airlines, and then to buy tickets, you know, to, 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 to travel. I'm very good at it. So, and yeah, so I haven't, I think... Maybe since five years ago, five years ago, I haven't flown in economy class for international for something more than four hours. You know, it's always business class. It's and it's always almost always free um, through the mileage or the points I get from credit card. Okay, so that's just something I like to do. And then hotels as well, you know, been to, we've been to Maldives or I don't know if you say Maldives or Maldives two times and stay in very luxury hotels and for free. And the hotel costs about $2,000 per night. Okay. So I was able to do that for free. So that's my hobby to find deals and, or to find, to, to, to accumulate points to, um, watch your car. It's not just I was one. just about to say she got a good credit card because she's accumulating a lot of points. No, it's not one good credit card. I have, believe it or not, I have more than 30 credit cards. So <laughs> some credit cards I don't use. I just, I just, I just, um, some credit cards just get the bonus points. Like some credit cards, they give you 10, 100,000 points if you spend $3,000 in three months, something like that. Okay. So, but but for you guys, you have to be careful because you still want to buy a house, right? You still want to get a house. So you need to watch your credit score. So um, so you have to do it slowly, you know. And the best way is like whatever credit card has a deal, like they have like record high bonus points. Like some credit card, they have 150,000. Um, oh, what kind of color? American? I have all color. I have... I don't have black car. Black car usually don't give you um good bonus points. I have platinum. I have three platinum. American Express. I have the rose gold. I have the gold. I have the blue. I have the green. So I have all kinds of color. Yeah. So yeah. So that he so he knows. Michael knows the platinum fees is like six hundred ninety five dollars. Yeah. So I I need to get rid of. I, I'm starting to, I need to, you know, um, cut some of the credit cards. Yeah. So my, four times is not bad. Mine is five times. So, <laughs> so four times is not bad. Four times is actually good. But uh, my, the, the Plantium credit cards that uh, Michael mentioned, the business Plantium, they give you five times on airlines. And um, and um, when you buy business class, they give you thirty five percent off in mileage. So if something, some business class costs two thousand dollars, 
And usually $2,000 is like 200,000 miles, right, points. But if you use the American Express to buy the business class, you only need to pay instead of 200,000 points, you only need 130,000 points. So that means it's like almost like one uh, $1,300 um, value. So that's good. Yeah. Anyway. So that's something we can talk about in class. That's that's why, hey, you have to come to class, okay? <laughs> um, but like I said, you need to you need to manage your credit score because when you apply new credit card, your credit score will drop about ten points every time they they um they pull your um credit credit history. Okay, you it will be ten points lower. So you need to kind of manage it. You have to take it slow. You have, you need to find something that's you know, have the best deal and then suit your um your daily habit. Like like somebody um go to grocery store a lot. So there are come there are credit cards that give you four times, five times, six times in groceries. Okay. Grocery store, not Walmart, not Target, you know, the normal grocery store, like Wegmans, like Wise, you know. So so that's something that you you know, and then sometimes some credit cards like in different months, they give you five times reward. Okay, like some credit card give you five times reward in gas. Some credit card give you five times reward in Amazon. So when that happens, like, like one time, like I remember one time the one credit card have five times points on Amazon. So I just, I just, I would, I just went to Amazon to get the. I think the maximum was like fifteen hundred dollars. So I just um. Um, I just bought the gift card for Amazon for fifteen hundred dollars, and then I get you know seventy five thousand points instead of you know other points. So and then we know if you look at your Amazon, like eventually in few months you will spend a lot of money. So the fifteen thousand, I mean not fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred definitely you know will be gone soon under you know if I get Amazon gift card. So that's just something, something small, but I, I've been too busy. I lost track of a lot of stuff. So, um, so it starts small, start small. <laughs> so a lot of credit card I don't use. I just, you know, put it in my drawer. Like it just, I just put it there. I don't use, but I do get, I do get, um, um, like a lot of hotel credit card, they give you free nights. So I have free nights, you know, everywhere. And sometimes it's a burden, you know, try to use all this. So, but I, but because I like travel and, and business travel. So we, um, so we can also talk about it later. Like, um, I have, I, I, I actually have, have a company, but it's just for tax purpose. Okay. It, 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 runs a little bit but not much okay so just for me to 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 um file some business expenses yeah so that's something that i think all business students should know okay so yes that's that's pretty much it and i love food um in the other class we had this international food festival so everybody bring food from different countries that that make me they make me excited. Like I like to learn about different food, different culture. And um, so that's it. And I'm very sensitive to numbers. So that's why I teach these. Oh, and I'm also a advisor for investment club. So if you are interested in investment club, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> you can uh, send me an email and I can um, send you the link to join the investment club. So it's actually, you know, very good. Yeah. Any other questions? No questions. I'll see you guys on Thursday. And then hopefully by Thursday, you know whether or not you want to do both project and the test three, or you just want to do test three, or you just want to do test, um, I mean, the project two. Okay. And then I will also post the recording for today um, on D2L. So stay warm. And it's still snowing here in my neighborhood. I live one and a half, almost one and a half hour away. I live like somewhere between Pottstown and Quaker Dam. So, um, yeah. So it's it's actually 
Good, that we don't have to travel today. <clears throat> if no questions, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye, have a good day. Bye, you guys. Bye, have a good, have day. A good day. Thank you. Okay, bye.